Wow. Wow. Hey, how's it going? I'm Trent Windsor and we're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of New Editions where I go through all the music of the week and I review all the music which I think is worth adding to your music libraries and your playlists. This week has been a pretty decent one. There are about seven songs that I'm excited to share with you that span a few different genres. So hopefully everybody can find something that they are interested in and that they are excited about. Hopefully you're as excited about it as I am. The first song I want to talk about today is called Numerical Slaughter by Papoose featuring DJ Premier. Papoose is a really lyrical rapper and he was on a song before with DJ Premier called Alphabetical Slaughter. He went through every letter of the alphabet in order as DJ Premier called him out and rapped about things that started with that letter, I guess. Um, and this song is it's very similar. Instead of letters, it's numbers. He goes from one to 10 and the whole song he just spits bars about whatever number we're on and DJ Premier calls out the numbers as they go. It's pretty impressive. It's an impressive show of lyricism and wit. It goes at a blistering pace, a really fast tempo. So it's pretty impressive as far as that goes. The beat is pretty generic and it really is a gimmick. So the gimmick can get worn out kind of quickly if you listen to it a thousand times like I did this week. But overall, I think it's a really decent song and one that's worth checking out just for that show of lyricism. I would say it's 40% skippable. Moving right along, we have a brand new album out by the band Swimmers. This is a band that spells their name without any vowels, so it's just S-W-M-R-S. So I can only assume that it's Swimmers. It could be saw mares like when you're on a road trip and you see horses and you know maybe these guys are from a different country so they say mares or they're a little bit more scientifically accurate or something it could be so my ruse uh ruse obviously being short for under ruse maybe it's sow amours maybe it's like the bachelorette but with pigs <laughs> Swimmers has a brand new album out, and the song that really stuck out to me from this album is called Lose, Lose, Lose. This song, Lose, 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 is a song that's full of energy and excitement. It's really fun. It's very crass. It's got a lot of attitude, a bad attitude. I love, like, the punk, surf rock type thing going on. If you like this song, go check out the other song from this album called Steve Got Robbed which is another song with a lot of attitude that I liked from this album. This song I would say is 30% skippable, so go check it out and let me know what you think. Next, the Queen of Confidence herself is back with another track. Lizzo brings us the song, Cause I Love You. You'll remember Lizzo, I reviewed her song, Juice. She's confident, she's sassy, she's just larger than life, and she brings all of those things back to another track and promises a full-length album, which I'm very excited about. In this track, Cause I Love You, it's an in-your-face look at the emotions of accidentally falling in love. She brings us in right away with a desperate cry of, I'm crying because I love you. She just brings in the horns, she brings in the chorus line, the lights, the grandeur, everything that you would assume Lizzo would bring, she brings, and it's amazing. Only Lizzo has the self-confidence to make such a private struggle just such a big spectacle. And I love that about her in this song. It's fun, it's frisky, its emotions are right up front. I would say this song is 30% skippable and definitely worth checking out. The next song I'd like to talk about is a song by S.G. Lewis and it's called Blue. Blue is a trippy, dreamy, synth pop song that goes along with the trend of California dreamy bedroom pop that we've been seeing a lot of in recent days. It's got these immersive pop synths that really just take you away to another place and really just kind of transform your state of mind. Something that I really loved about this song was the beat switch in the middle. Now, I've never taken a drug. I've never snorted marijuana. I've never shoved a, a mushroom up my butt which is, I think, what you're supposed to do. I've never even licked a meth lollipop, which just shows you how how little drugs I've done. But uh, this, this beat switch is what I assume it would feel like to do drugs because it just, wow. It just, 
this just transforms you into a whole nother place, a whole nother state of mind. And it feels like a whole nother song, even though it's pretty much the same beat, just slowed down. It's immersive and expansive and really just takes you away. This one was a highlight for me this week, and I would say it's only 25% skippable. All right, we've got a brand new song by none other than Tierra Whack. Tierra Whack uh, kind of gained traction this last year. Tierra Whack brings us a full-length song here, which is called Only Child. In this song, we find Tierra Whack in the midst of a breakup or a beef with somebody. It's got a relaxed tempo. He's really wobbly synths. Classic Tierra Whack quirky vocals, but it's full of clever wordplay, really cutting remarks towards this person. Tierra Whack on one of her songs once said that she has flow so mean she just can't be polite, and hot dang, on this song she has this incredible rap verse that just cuts straight down to the core, just goes right through the heart of whoever the subject of this song is, and it's so satisfying, so juicy, oh so yummy, oh so yummy. It's another one that I would say is 25% skippable and is definitely another highlight this week. The last song I'd like to talk about today is called Hands Up by a group called Trademark. This is another group that uses no vowels in their name, so I can only assume their name is Trademark, uh, but it could just be Turdmark. It could be Tired Mary Kay, a makeup salesman who's just really exhausted. It could be Tar Dumb Rick. Maybe there's this dude, Dumb Rick, that they're they're trying to dump tar on. They don't like him for some reason. We're just going to assume that it's Trademark. This is a rapper-producer combo that comes through with a modern take on old-school hip-hop beats. It's a song that's heavily lyrical with fiery verses. It's got those Trademark old-school hip-hop flavors. You know, it's got some jazz bass and jazz piano in there. It's got a classic drum set beat. The producer really does a lot to bring in modern synths and modern distortion to bring all of this into the modern day. If you like Prime or if you like Zarface, if you like MF Doom, you'll really enjoy this group's song. It's a real head bopping song, one that's really easy to get behind. This song I would say is 30% skippable. Well, that's all I have for you this week. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications, like this video, and drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought about any of these songs, and let me know if I missed any songs that I need to go back and review again. All of the music I talked about today will be linked in the description below, as well as playlists for Spotify and Apple Music. I'm also going to start putting family-friendly playlists, so playlists that include the clean versions or don't include songs that don't have a clean version. If you like these videos, please share them with your friends, with your neighbors, with your enemies. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Dang, man, just come hang out with me sometime. I don't know. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle. Tear-a-whack, 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 tear-a-whack. <laughs>